the Path of Pendulums. Uh, this was the first Path Pendulum I ever bought, and the first Path Pendulum I ever put into semi hydroponics. Since flushing this orchid for the past six months, I don't have the as much white uh, mineral deposit. Uh, I do have a spike, a spike with a bloom on it. So I'm super. So please. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, and that this whole thing happened while in the semi hydro. But we do have something going on. Do, 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 do. This. I'm not really sure what's going on here. If anybody knows why, I actually originally cut off the brown, and the brown's still coming. Oh, I don't like the way that looks, but I don't know. Leave in the comment section if you know what it is. Yes, thank you. So, but this leaf looks beautiful. Look at that leaf. So I think maybe maybe a root might be rotting, but I don't know why. I've been I I I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that this thing's been in semi hydro for six months, and it has spiked with a bloom that looks like it's trying to open. Yeah. Curvy. Isn't that yeah. cool? I know. This one's been in the semi-hydro for a while now. Um, I first put it into the semi-hydro when this new growth was about mm, two inches big. And now look at it. Doing really nice. Uh, I'm really excited about that. This one also was a recent addition to semi-hydro. This is my beautiful white path of petalum with little speckles in it. Oh, it's my favorite. just love it so much. Uh, the growth has been doing really well. This is new growth that's been growing for me here. And we have a new leaf since being in the semi-hydro. So, doing well. This one is, as written below, um, this one, I shouldn't have bought this one, but it was a good deal. And the reason it was a good deal is because it was a poached plant. I know, God, it's so bad. I bought it off of eBay and it came from China. And as soon as I got it, I put it in to the semi hydro and it's been in it ever since. No. Please. And we have a new leaf down in here. And uh, it's doing okay. I cannot let this plant die. This plant is actually endangered in the wild. I can't let it die. And if I do get a bloom, I will try to pollinate it and I will try to send the seeds off to someone to grow because this is. This is a special plant. This one. Okay, this is this is a good one. This is the yellow bulldog. This one was my... Oh, I did a video on it. The sad path petalum. This guy was on his way out. He was start... Or she was starting to die. She was not doing well. Ooh, is that a spike? I don't know. We'll have to see. I have uh, something poking up in here. This one did try to spike for me a while ago. Boom. There it is. Boom. But uh, when I saw the spike, I got really excited and I started overwatering it, causing rot and causing the spike to stop growing. Since then, I have moved into semi hydro where it is not rotting, where we have roots trying to pop out, and we have. What's left, what roots I have left in here are still doing all right. But the best part about moving into semi hydro is that bad boy. A little new growth that is growing just fine and dandy. And if you have new growth in two years, you might get a bloom. But since this plant is trying to grow this growth, um, it's looking like it's dying, but it's using all of its energy to grow this guy. And this one's not looking that great either. This is a new leaf I got. And I've noticed that with these plants, with path petalums in general, they tend to like to have four leaves and then they spike. I got one, two, three, four, and something coming up here. I don't know what it is. I can actually... If you pinch in here, it could be, it could be a spike, which if it is a spike, that would explain why the energy is being depleted from these leaves. 
So I think that covers all the papapetalums that have been put into semi-hydro. Yes, it's a beautiful orchid Make this. that Zoe made me. It's pretty cool. Okay, here's a success story. Da 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 da. Yeah, a weird little spike here that kind of got stuck and cramped, and it's. I don't think it's going to do anything, but it tried. It tried to spike. But look at all the other spikes. We have one, two, three. And I swear there's a fourth on here somewhere. Oh yeah, four. Four spikes. Should be five, except that little spike got damaged. Uh, and this guy went into spike while being in the semi-hydro. It. This is an Oncidium twinkle. And putting it into semi-hydro did not set it back at all in the least bit. This. This was kind of an experimental, and it's been doing really well, for the most part. Um, this is a Melatoniopsis. Ooh, we have new roots. You can see the roots better in here. These are old roots, and they still look fine. They didn't rot off or anything, but they look like old roots. Ah, here are some old roots. And, you know, they don't really look, you know, they're a little rotten. And, oh, look at that big root. Look at that. Yeah, so old roots kind of looking like algae and rotten. New root looking beautiful. Since putting this one into semi-hydro, it has sent out, oh man, there's a bunch of new growth in here. There's a tiny leaf down in there. One, two, three, four, Ooh, there's one right there. Down right there. Five. And there is a tiny leaf right in there. That'd be six. Six new growths with new roots. This is a Melatoniopsis. My other Melatoniopsis wrinkles like crazy, and I have had minimum wrinkling on this plant. That, that blows my mind. That is awesome. Look at that. That one's not even like wrinkly at all. I'm going to move my other Melatoniopsis into semi-hydro. This is fabulous. And this one was in very bad shape. This plant in general was in very bad shape when I got it. Semi-hydro success story. And then we have, this is a long video. I'm sorry. We have this guy. Oh, Encyclia Cordadora. I think I'm saying that right. This one, I rotted the roots off. Um, I put it in totally, I misread information on this plant and put it in the wrong potting mix, if you will. I'm trying not to move this plant that much. I'll try to keep it as still as possible because we have new root growth. Lots of new root growth. Because I have this new growth. And this guy, this little new ro root growth happened, boom, after being put into semi-hydro. Yeah. So, I don't know. This is one of those plants where I'm just setting it and forgetting it because I have a lot of root rot in here. I, I just, I don't care. I'm just gonna, just gonna put it aside, keep my fingers crossed, and uh, hope that it does alright. We have... My two favorite Phalaenopsis. This one has pretty leaves and has growing a new leaf for me, has new root. Oh, we got some nice roots going on in here. And this one is actually doing okay in the semi hydro setup. Probably due to the fact that um, it's in the south facing window, so it's not getting. Uh, it's drying out. I let it dry out, but it sits in this little glass thing so it, the humidity stays around it. It's not staying super wet. But new root, new leaves. I'm happy just to see Phalaenopsis grow in my conditions. Here's another. Oh, I also put these guys, right when I bought them, I transferred them into 
semi-hydroponics. That might have made a difference for them. This guy is such a cute pal. Uh, and we have new leaves. And we have new root. Ooh, a little root tip right there. And this one has actually been doing pretty well in the semi-hydro. Uh, so I leave these guys in the window, south-facing window, and that seems to be just fine for them. This is not an orchid. This is a succulent. And I got it from my mom. She shipped it out to me because it's been growing like a weed for her. And it's half um, cactus. I yeah, because it's a succulent. Um, when I got it, the leaves, Ooh, when I got it, it went through a bit of shock because my mom kept it in a, a different type of pot and mix, of course. What I'm doing with this one is I'm using the Lekka beads in a clay pot, but I'm using, I'm putting it in water. So it sits in the roots on this thing are really short. So it sits in a reservoir in a clay pot with clay media. It's a totally different, I've never tried this before, but it's doing all right. Uh, you can see new growth inside. That's a new growth. It's um, do, do, do. This is most of my orchids that are in semi hydroponics, and that's what's going on. Da, 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 da. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching my lawn video. But Bye -bye. there you go. Semi hydro working.